this for the right the white ribbon campaign and you know violence against women is a very very serious thing it's real it happens and it's so unfortunate and i feel like people need to know people need to be aware of what women are going through like honestly it's hard being a woman to begin with you were already born with like with a disadvantage and then on top of that you go to someone to love someone that supposedly cares for you and they beat you up they bully you they mentally and physically and verbally abuse you that's not the, that's not what women need that's not even the type of man you should like a man should be so i kind of wrote this one to to bring out that awareness to let people know what's going on so i really hope you guys love it i really hope you guys appreciate it comments feedbacks anything you got for me i want to hear it i want to know i want to use it so this poem is entitled make a wish Hopefully I can get through this without making mistakes, but I make no promises because I haven't really done a full run through and I haven't memorized it. I just wrote this thing two days ago and I'm giving myself a bunch of excuses, <laughs> but um, no, nah, I hope you guys like it. I hope you guys, you guys better like this. Honestly, I put my heart into it. So here we go. She no longer wished on the shooting stars. And it seemed like the 11th minute of the 11th hour would never come. So instead she would wish on the broken apartment building lights. Because after every fight the sparks would ignite. Creating the illusion of dancing stars in the sky. So she would just make a wish. She prays for her life to pass her by. Because sometimes she'd just rather die than to wake up with another headache. That's bigger than the heartache from the blows of his fist that her body just can't take. God must have made a mistake somewhere in the storybook of her life. She wasted prayers and wishes on happiness, praying for something that never existed, hoping for something that wasn't realistic. She would always be that outcast and misfit as long as the power was his fist. There was no power in wishes, so she would just close her eyes and hope that they would never open back. If I just stand still, maybe I won't provoke his attack. Always tense, I can't relax like a slave with the whips to my back. To hide her pain, she'd always try her hardest. To mask the bruises, she became an artist, using her face as a canvas. With lipstick to paint on fake and phony smiles to hide the frowns of a lifestyle so hostile with a boyfriend whose anger was out just too wild to even control. And every night she would try and cry, but her tear ducts were as dry as the Sahara. Once again, hiding the pain through her cover girl mascara. Lash after, lash after, lash after, lash after, lash just as much as the ones he would place on her back. The burden of this artist just wouldn't submit, so she would make a wish. She would close her eyes and pray for rainbows. But in the sky, she'd only see a frown, ten shades of gray, with happiness too far away. Teeth in her grasp and staying out of her reach, and no matter how hard a preacher would preach, she'd still scream at night that God can't hear me. And she would try to reach for his holy cross, but her imagination was shattered with a holocaust of emotions. In a battlefield of a despair and a depression that comes when only the devil visits there, so she would just close her eyes and make a wish. She can't leave him. She knows it's not safe, so she just shuts her mouth and knows her place. Keeps her head down and makes no mistakes and builds on her strength to endure all that she takes. Consistently speaking false lies in her air, saying that she is nothing without him. Telling her that without him she just can't win. So no matter how hard the blows, the one thing that she knows is that somewhere in this sick and twisted battlefield called love, there's no one else that loves me more than him. So I give all that I have with all I have left, hoping that he won't take my last breath just so I can make my last wish.